Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My dumbass forgot to film an intro for this video earlier. So if you're interested in seeing how I create my everyday makeup look, then keep on watching. So starting off, I'm taking my Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation and dabbing that all over my face. Taking my Real Techniques sponge, I am blending that out. Personally, I like this sponge much better than the Beauty Blender. Then going in with the chocolate shade from my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, I take that on my finger to warm it up a little bit and then dab it on the places I would like to contour. And I blend that out using a buffing brush from Real Techniques. And I find that this blends out the most nicely and looks very natural. Taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my lids. And I don't show what shadow I'm about to use, but you can use any cream or light colored eyeshadow to set your primer. So that's what I'm doing. Just so there's no creasing and the eyeshadow lasts all day. And if you see me talking, it's because I was on the phone. So I'm just blending that out and making sure there's no creases. Going in with my Modern Renaissance, I am taking the second to lightest shade in the palette. It is a shimmer and sweeping that all over the lids. Then taking the same palette and using the purpley pink shade, I absolutely love it, and I'm placing that right on top of where we just placed the other shadow. I love to layer colors for different dimensions and finishes. Then taking a more flat shader type brush, I'm going in with that same shade that we just used, the, uh, the pinky purple, but I'm going to be placing it a little more deliberately onto the lids so there's more color payoff. Taking the same fluffy brush I was using before, I'm just blending everything all together, making sure there's no harsh lines and that everything looks seamless and blended. Moving on, I am taking my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC and a flat shader brush the same one that I used to carve out my eyebrows and I'm just putting a little bit of that concealer in the corner of my eye and kind of beginning a cut crease but only keeping it towards the beginning of my eye so it doesn't go out very far but this will be a great base for a shimmer shadow that I'm going to place there Going with another flat shader brush, I am now packing, um, I don't know why I didn't show it, but the more pinky champagne shimmer in the Modern Renaissance palette. So I'm packing that over top of the concealer that I just placed in the inner corner.
Then taking my NYX Roll-On Glitter. I absolutely love this stuff. It's an oldie but a goodie and it transforms your eye looks like crazy. So I'm just placing that on the outer corner, working my way in towards the inner and making everything very sparkly. Then taking the shade Beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is my all-time favorite inner corner highlight. Um, also for the brow bone, it's absolutely stunning. And I literally use it like every day. Next, I am just going to be setting my foundation with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Going around the spots that I know need to be set for the day. Um, and I actually haven't been using concealer lately under my eyes, so that's why I'm setting my under eyes also. Going, uh, moving into my eyeliner, I wanted to show a little bit of how I do it, but it's very hard to get it on camera. I am using my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, and I absolutely love this one. It's very similar to the Kat Von D, um, I think it's the Tattoo Liner. They're both very awesome, but this one is a great drugstore dupe. Moving on to lashes, I'm just taking my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, my absolute favorite at the moment, and then using my eyeliner in black, it's the Maybelline Define Align, my absolute favorite eyeliner of all time. To bronze up my cheeks, I am taking my Park Ave Princess palette and using the Princess Cut shade. Taking that on a Bare Minerals brush that I absolutely love and have been using also since I was like in middle school. I find that it blends everything out seamlessly and looks perfect. So taking a fluffy brush that I got from Clinique, I'm going to be taking a lighter lighter shade in the same palette. I know I had mentioned that I didn't use concealer today, so I wanted to take up this powder to brighten my face up a little bit. Taking a Make Makeup Revolution blush palette. To me, it's more like a highlighting palette, so that's why I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette and popping that on my cheekbones. And here I'm smudging out that same purple shade from the Modern Renaissance palette underneath my eyes. Then taking the MAC Whirl Lip Liner, lining my lips, and topping that off with A Bare Minerals Gloss. This one is called Sugar. Jaclyn Hill posted on her channel a while back raving about this gloss and you know I snatched it up instantly. Thanks girl. That concludes my everyday makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here with me. Please hit like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.